Okay, gold coins, companies, and commodities here in the uh, traditional world of finance. We're going to be going over the price of gold and a company involved in the industry. A bit of a switch up here uh, on the channel. Usually we're covering cryptocurrencies. That's why on the screen we do have a crypto, technically. Uh, this is a cryptocurrency backed by gold reserves held by Paxos a multi-billion dollar uh, you know entity in gold as well they have a cryptocurrency that is uh, you know one to one with a gold uh, price here almost as you can see uh, you know slightly different volatility at the moment we have support down below one thousand eight hundred dollars overhead resistance present at one thousand eight hundred and seventy dollars bearish robos in play ever since the uh, end of april here have saved us from six percent in downside and we are patiently waiting for the return of bullish robos which uh, in play back in january of 2022 allowed us to experience up to 12 and a half percent in gains on gold so uh, lots going on here in the uh, economy lots of changes lots of rearranges lots of strangeness uh you know currently slapping is happening money flowing in and out of uh, you know monopoly form and uh, into the uh, you know limited assets that are available um so based on this chart here uh we can use the uh, you know support and resistance descending trend line and engineering robo strategies to invest 20 percent at support at the moment one thousand eight hundred dollars uh, we have this descending trend line here where we can invest 30 percent into gold once daily candles open and close above it and that remaining 50 percent of your gold investment can be invested when two of our chosen three robos return to a bullish state a different perspective on gold comes into play here when we zoom out to the weekly chart and consider uh you know gold traded uh via spot on oanda uh, we can see uh, bullish robos coming into play all the way back in 2018. The buy four and moon allowed you to experience up to 62% in gains investing into gold over the following, uh, you know, just about two years there. And uh, would appear bearish robos in play throughout November of 2020 suggested you capitalize on 39% ROI with engineering robo uh, trading gold here. And so, uh, we can see price action, uh, you know, maintaining uh, what appears to be sideways price action at resistance overhead. We have a slightly less than ideal lower high printed on the 7th of March relative to the 3rd of August. Uh, that is, you know, slightly less than ideal here. We are looking for higher lows being printed during any sort of continued downside, potentially suggested by the recently confirmed HE double hockey sticks and sell for robo advisors in play. Technically at the moment, interacting with resistance overhead on this chart, $1,855 is going to be a horizontal level. We need, uh, you know, candles interacting with from above. Um, and so at the moment we can see gold trading in this much larger uh you know technical pattern here it would appear trading sideways within these uh you know correlating trend lines we will have to wait for the you know breakout whether it be upward or downward here depending on engineering robos buy or sell suggestions in play at the time in my opinion i do anticipate continued upside for commodities overall while uh, gold may not experience explosive upside here in the immediate short term or midterm i still anticipate gold to be a uh, rather uh, you know bullish longer term investment or safe place to keep uh you know money over time uh rather than uh you know getting rich quick with crypto pumps and or dumps but we go with the flow of crypto i may watch out for engineering robo uh, you know, we can apply the similar concepts here when two of our chosen three robo advisors return to a bullish state, we can begin accumulating gold more comfortably. Uh, when candles are interacting, uh, you know, out of this, uh, you know, consolidating pattern here, we can get, uh, you know, more comfortable with the continued trend in play. And, uh, you know, support levels uh, to keep in mind at the moment are going to be $1,772 all the way down below, or when $1,000 eight hundred and fifty five dollars becomes support uh, after further confirmations whichever one comes first the company in the gold industry we will be considering in today's video is osisco and osisco is engaged in the business of acquiring and managing precious metal and other high quality royalties streams and similar interests in canada and worldwide osisco owns a portfolio of royalties streams offtakes options on royalty streams financing 
and exclusive rights to participate in future royalty slash stream financings on various projects. Osisco's cornerstone asset is a 5% NSR royalty on the Canadian Malartic mine located in Canada. This is a company valued over $2 billion and does happen to pay a dividend, which has been increasing over the years here. Uh, technically, uh, Osisco Gold Royalties here trading on the Toronto Stock Exchange has interacted with support. Uh, $13.54 down below is a potential support level. We are looking for continued bullish interaction with. And we have $17.95 as resistance overhead. Currently, bearish robos are in play. The cell 1 and cell 4 have been confirmed, so we do anticipate potentially unsightly sideways and or interactions downward here until the return of uh, you know bullish robo advisors. And so we do see instances of upside after bullish confirmations, 17% in gains uh, between uh, December of 2018 into April of 2019. We have a crippling 50 0.45% in downside you were saved from when bearish robos came into play between September of 2019 uh, all the way into March of 2020 there. And uh, more recently, we have seen 42% in upside with bullish robos coming into play throughout April of 2020. Um, uh, all the way to June of 2021. And so right now, we just uh, go with the flow of engineering robos, buy and sell suggestions, and we can begin more comfortably accumulating, uh, you know, this stock uh, once bullish parameters have returned. This is an article you can find in the description, but it roughly compares Bitcoin to gold here, and we can go over a few paragraphs. The Bitcoin community insists that the crypto asset is a digital version of gold. Just like the yellow metal, it can be used as a safe haven for wealth. Several wealthy investors, institutions, celebrities, and corporations have added Bitcoin to their reserves. But how does this innovative new digital asset compare to the world's oldest and most popular store of value? Uh, gold obviously has a longer track record than its digital rival. While Bitcoin was created 13 years ago, gold predates human civilization. The earliest record of gold being used for decoration dates back to 4000 BC. There's a chance it was used for other purposes, perhaps barter, even prior to that. Uh, over those four millennia, gold has played a pivotal role in global politics and economics. In fact, most global currencies were pegged to the value of gold until 1971. Uh, but just because Bitcoin is new doesn't mean it's less secure. The underlying blockchain has never been hacked, and the asset has certainly helped create more wealth than gold over the past 13 years. Uh, the article continues with aspects such as convenience. Obviously, uh, Bitcoin is digital. Gold is physical. Uh, transporting and transacting one another are clearly very different. This article covers volatility as well, uh, certain correlations, central bank uh, reserve aspects. So right now, gold is heavily, uh, you know, uh, a part of the central banking uh, reserve systems. And so uh, while we can see, uh, if you've been following the channel, Bitcoin is largely becoming a part of these, you know, same major entities. And so we will likely see Bitcoin and gold next to each other in these central bank reserves. Uh, but the article closes with, uh, gold is certainly more stable and time-tested than Bitcoin. However, Bitcoin's drawbacks are quickly being resolved and younger investors are adopting it in greater numbers. Over time, the world's most popular cryptocurrency might actually fulfill its potential as digital gold. And so, uh, in my opinion, I do believe Bitcoin can be loosely compared to gold in a sense where it is stored value over time. Obviously, the volatilities are much different. Use cases are much different as well. And, uh, you know, right now, implied volatility is also going to vary. While gold has been around for far uh, longer, it, uh, you know, doesn't have the 
uh, explosive growth potential that Bitcoin certainly does. And at the moment, with uh, Bitcoin's current valuation and with such minimal understanding about it and such minimal applications for it, by the time we do have uh, the greater understanding and ways to utilize it, I suspect Bitcoin will uh, you know, uh, far surpass its previous all-time highs and then some. And so... We always go with the flow of uh, crypto and the world of finance here. Monopoly money is changing into uh, digital monopoly money. So we just have to go with the flow of that transaction. Capitalize on volatility during times of extreme fear here. But find this article in the description. Alrighty, back to Bitcoin here, uh, back in our comfort zone. That was uh, quite strange. If you're into gold, let me know how you feel about gold. What are your thoughts on the uh, upcoming price action in play? Do you suspect continued gains or sideways? Let me know in the comment section here. It would appear we have Bitcoin under the influence of bearish robo technically since uh, beginning of April there, saving us from the crippling correction that followed. 37% in downside, no biggie. We've been patiently waiting for the return of bullish robos. Swapped out our bull robo advisor for early bird here, which was confirmed on the 20th of May. And if you utilized that by suggestion since that early bird, was confirmed, Bitcoin did proceed to experience 5.26% in upside, an increase of $1,522. Uh, you know, if you're savvy enough at trading, you could have easily capitalized on that momentum. Um, and so right now, will it continue is the question here. We use the early bird to determine higher risk, uh, you know, entries before short term moves upward. And right now, uh, after significant support found, it would appear above $28,422. We may, uh, and, you know, anticipate interactions toward this resistance waiting for us, though, at 34655 Watch out for that overhead. And we are still uh, looking for further interaction with these lower support levels until bullish robos return. We can invest 50% when two of our chosen three robo advisors are bullish. We can invest 20% at support once that has been further solidified and 30% will be invested when daily candles are opening and closing above this descending trend line. Bitcoin still in the fear zone here. It would appear you are suggested to be slowly accumulating through this, uh, you know, highly volatile sideways that we may experience for a period of weeks to perhaps months here. We do have an instance back in uh, between 2018 into 2019 where we traded sideways within the fear zone for several months, uh, roughly 170 days before uh, leaving it for a period of months as well. Uh, only to return to it uh, and provide another bullish uh, opportunity for longer term accumulation. Price action since our most recent fear zone interaction back in 2020 has experienced 10x in gains. And we have yet to see that FOMO zone. And with this being a third bullish interaction with the fear zone here, uh, yeah, you know, this is yet another factor contributing to why I find it very difficult to be bearish uh, on, the, at, on Bitcoin at this time. Uh, you know, continued sideways and or interactions downward at this point moving forward is very healthy for the, uh, you know, very euphoric uptrend in play. So we go with the flow of crypto and we watch out for engineering robo accumulate here during times of extreme fear between 30 and $20,000 per Bitcoin. Very nice prices to be buying. In my opinion, uh, go, oh no, when there's FOMO, consider taking profit when engineering robo tells you so, yo. Thank you so much for hearing my analysis and tune in for the next one.